All right, so let's get ourselves an introduction to confidence intervals and interpreting confidence intervals and kind of see what our next unit is going to be about. Okay. So in our first setup is we have a Gallup poll that has a 95% confidence interval for the true proportion of American adults who support the death penalty. Right, and that 95% confidence interval is from 59% to 67%. Right, and this estimate was based on a random sample of 1,038 American adults. Okay, so our first step is to interpret the interval. What does this interval mean? Well, what this interval represents is that we are 95% confident the interval from 0.59 to 0 0.67 captures the true proportion of American adults who support the death penalty. All right. So we're not saying there's a 95% chance that the true proportion is in the interval, but rather that we are 95% confident that the interval captures the true proportion. And this is because of how the confidence intervals get built which is based on the sampling distribution of the sample mean. Okay. Next, we ask, determine the point estimate and the margin of error used to create the interval. Well, our point estimate is nothing more than the center of the interval, right? So if I consider, if I consider that my interval, right, if I consider that my interval goes from 0 0.59 to 0 0.67, I just need to find the center of that interval, which is simply going to be the average of the two numbers. And so that's going to be 0 0.63. And because this is an interval for a proportion, that value would have been my p hat, my statistic for my particular sample. And we call that the point estimate. Now, the margin of error is nothing more than the distance from the center to the end of my interval, right? So I could either say 0 0.63 minus 0 0.59 or 0 0.67 minus 0 0.63. Either way, the distance from the center to the end is 0 0.04, and that's gonna be my margin of error, all right? So basically saying, hey, here's the center of my interval, plus or minus 0 0.04, right? That I could say I have right, 0 0.63 plus or minus 0 0.04, and that is the interval, all right? That my interval is 0 0.63 plus or minus 0 0.04. Those of you that are in uh, biology and chemistry, you may be more familiar with seeing the notation in that form. And our next piece, do we have convincing evidence that more than 60% of American adults support the death penalty? Well, the answer to this would be no, right? There is not convincing evidence because our interval includes values less than or equal to 0 0.60, right? So less than or equal to 0 0.60 is within our confidence interval. Therefore, it's plausible to be 0 0.59 or 0 0.595, 0 0.598, all of those being values less than 60%. So I cannot say I have convincing evidence. Okay. So that gets us our example on working with the confidence interval for proportions and just working with these simple basics on interpreting, determining if we have evidence, and determining the point estimate and the margin of error. In other videos, we'll look at our confidence intervals for means, and then we'll also look at how we can compute these confidence intervals.